everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about fluid containment in case of rollover for your off-road buggy. And I'm going to talk also about venting, some of the uh, things that I have done in my own buggy. Hopefully this helps you. Okay, so the first item we're going to talk about is the fuel cell, fuel cell venting. So one of the, uh, the well-done fittings that I have on my fuel cell uh, is for a vent. So it, normally for any fuel cell that you have, you're going to have three different fittings. So one of them is uh, for sucking the fuel out, one of them is for the fuel return, and then another one for the vent. So any uh, the one for the vent here is connected to uh, a hose. Uh, and then I do put a manual valve on it, on, on mine, you know, as, a, as an added safety uh, feature. Uh, everything else uh, is, is closed on, on the fuel cell. Obviously the cap, it doesn't leak. It has a rubber seal on it. So that's not an issue. Everything is closed here. And then this, va this uh, vent here, it goes into this kind of device that I have built. So what is exactly this device? It's, it's just some fittings here that connect to a rollover valve. So this is a rollover valve you can buy from Summit Racing or Jags. It's just a little ball um, on a spring that uh, as soon as the buggy rolls, uh, either on its side or completely upside down, it will stop the fluid from leaking out. Um, and then what I wanted to do, you could basically just air it out to the to the to the air here. But because we wheel in uh, in dusty environments, uh, it's always a good idea to have uh, a filter. And this filter will basically um, allow you to uh, uh, to filter the uh, the air because obviously as the fuel tank. As the fuel is consumed, um, there's going to be air that's going to be created and there's going to be a suction of air uh, that, that comes in from here. So this is a special fuel, uh, fuel cell uh, filter. And I will open it up in a second to show you uh, how it is it made. Uh, it's not just it's not it's not just a regular filter. It's a special one made out of uh, beads, uh, and I'll show you how it looks like in a second. And then basically the air comes in through here, and then it it comes in through here. Obviously in this uh, configuration, the uh, the rollover valve is is open, and then the fuel valve fuel cell can vent. However, as soon as the buggy rolls sideways or upside down. Uh, this blocks the the uh, the the, f the f uh, fuel from leaking out of the van. So this has worked really good for me. I've rolled the buggy uh, three three or four times so far, and I've never had any issues with fuel leaking out. Okay, so I did crack it open, and I removed the cap. And then, you, as you can see here, there's this little filter. It uh, it works really well for f filtering the air going into the fuel, and it doesn't get destroyed because of the fuel uh, uh, fumes. So this is a special uh, vent cap for a fuel cell, and you can buy that one from Summit Racing. So the next uh, item that I'm going to talk about is the engine itself. So basically my engine still has the PCV valve, and I think that is important to keep the PCV valve because it will suck all the fumes uh, out of the uh, the crankcase. Uh, and then these fumes, uh, uh, it's it's not good not to have a PCV because these fumes uh, sometimes are acid and they will create some, they will wreck the engine oil and um, uh, and then what will happen, there would be corrosion as well inside the engine. So it's important to get these fumes uh, out from the, uh, from the uh, crankcase itself. So I still have my uh, PCV valve. And so what I did is on one of the uh, the, va uh, the valve covers, I do have one of the uh, a filter. So it's basically, this is a, uh, a K&N filter and it is actually pretty much glued to the, uh, to the valve cover. So I have not seen oil come out of this. Uh, it's it basically, it, 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 it's pretty good at stopping the oil from fl flowing out, but it does let air in. So what, for me, what I do is basically I have the vent on one cover and then on the other cover I do have the PCV so this is the PCV right here and then the PCV itself is connected to a hose and this is what is in the PCV hose so 
I do have a manual valve here that I can just, I can reach it from the driver's side. I mean, I could, if I wanted, I could extend this into the cab as well, but I can reach it from here. So I basically just shut it off. When I roll the buggy, I just shut it off. And this prevents oil, um, engine oil from getting into the intake. So, and what I did too, is I put a, an oil uh, uh, filter. This is for a airline. Uh, oil oil f filter like a compressor air shop air filter and then it removes the oil out of it and I empty it every once in a while so that prevents a lot of oil from going into the intake and then the hose goes loops back and then it goes inside the intake itself so next I'm going to talk about the axles so for the axles I've tried these uh, little vent bellows uh, where you would connect them to the vent and then the bellows would inflate up and down. I, I never had any good luck with them. They, I, I don't think they work very well. And I've had leakage from uh, from from the pinion, from different spots in the axle because it does pressur pressurize the axle. So I went away completely from those and I decided to use a regular uh, just hose. And then so the hose, these this hose is not high pressure hose, so it's not it's pretty cheap to buy. And I, and I have one for the front axle and I have another one for the rear axle and they do connect together with a T. So this is, this is the vent from the rear axle and this is the vent from the front axle. And as you can see, they're connected to a T and then it comes up into my catch can. So this is a three tier catch can. And then it has three different manual shutoff valves. So one of them, it has this tank that I built has actually three different compartments in it. So I'm gonna try to get the best image of it. Here it is. So it's got three different uh, vents. So the, the, the upper one is for the transmission. The middle one, is for the transfer case and then the lower one is for the in the lower one is for the uh, axles and and this catch can even though it looks like a, a single piece of uh, um, aluminum that is uh, cylindrical there's actually i built it in a very specific way it has three different con uh, containers that are all uh, separate from each other and then each one there's a drain and I tapped it to quarter inch NPT. And then the vent itself, it has a tube that extends to approximately this much here. So it extends inside the compartment. So the, the, uh, the upper one, the upper one here, this is for the transmission and the, the vent tube itself goes inside the, con uh, the, the container here. And the ones for the uh, transfer case, so this one, is it does actually extend inside, uh, probably another inch or two inside the uh, the container. And then the final one is for the for the axles, these ones. It does extend as well. So in the event of a rollover, I have never had to do anything for the fuel tank. Uh, I usually what I do is I I just the first thing that I do is I turn off the uh, the manual valve for the PCV for the uh, for the engine, and then I just come out of the buggy and then I turn all these valves uh, off like this, and then once all these valves are turned off, then I don't have to worry about uh, any fluid leaking from the buggy. So this had wor this has worked really uh, well for me, and uh, I recommend that uh, you do the same. Uh, obviously, uh, there's different ways of venting fuel tanks. Uh, some of them use the uh, the three sides and down method, and that that seems to work really good for uh, some other people. Uh, I've had really good luck with this method here, and you can come up with your own methods as well. As well but I think it's very important uh, to have fluid containment in the event of a rollover.